Ken Surfs here, another video. Well, we made it. It's Friday. You made it through the week. I made it through the week. Ah, it's going to be a good weekend. And uh, as promised, I had a mail call from Glasgow, Scotland, uh, from Mr. Brian Mulrini, uh, the owner of Executive Shaving. And uh, he actually wrote me a really nice note. I don't know if you could see that. Uh, I had heard and it had been requested that I try out one of his razors, the Braveheart razor. And again, I'm late to the party on this because uh, you gents in Europe and some of you out here have already uh, heard of the Braveheart razor and you've already used it. And this is going to be my first time today trying it, so I'm really jazzed. So in the, in the uh, box I got from Executive Shaving, I got a really nice box here. and. Got some samples of their shave cream too, but I've got uh, the Braveheart. Look at that. Now this one, I like the knurling on this. This is heavy too. This is a very heavy razor too. And the knurling, I like it when they feel very, like I would call it sharp, because uh, you're not gonna drop this. It's uh, very well balanced. There we go, very well balanced. And it should go, it should work very well. It's got a very mild head on it, it looks like. A very mild head and let me open that up and take a look at that head in fact we'll open that up it's a three-piece yeah very similar to the ones that you see on a lot of people's razors so I'm hoping it's nice and mild perfect and I have some natural shaving cream from Executive to try. And it is, look at this, it's uh, very nice. Now I'm gonna use a shaving bowl again for that. So I've got my trusty, I've got my trusty captain's choice here ready to go. And I'm gonna use my Chubby One Simpson brush today, uh, Badger. So we'll be using that. In fact, I'm gonna put this in the crystal skull right now so it can start start soaking. And Triffitt and Hill, sandalwood. We're gonna use this as the aftershave today. So once I locate my Gillette Wilkinson sword blades that I just had in my hand, we can get started. So hold on once. You just missed the uh, I'm getting old rant because uh, I had a brand new pack in my hand of these and I can't find the damn thing. I hope I don't sit on them later. Later, I found two empty boxes of them. You can tell I definitely use these quite often. So I got a brand new pack that just arrived uh, via eBay from India. So we're gonna use one of these because these, uh, ah, nice five pack. These are my go-to blades. I can't, man, well, I just forget about it. And I think they have, is it 10 in a pack? Boop, 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 boop. A saloon pack, they call it. But, uh, uh, these ones are super mild. I really enjoy these blades. So we'll pop one open for the first time and we'll load it into the Braveheart. Do, 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 do. Without cutting myself. If you cut yourself opening up a razor blade pack, I don't know what to say. All right. This razor up. Now, I went to the site, of course, and uh, the executive shaving company sells a lot of products, and they have five razors that are actually their own uh, that they created. And then they have, you know, feathers, a bunch of other ones. Let's see. Looks like it lines up very well. I always like to try that out on a uh, nice, it doesn't, uh, doesn't have a lot of play. Locks in good. And that really feels well, really feels good. Good, I press record. Can you imagine going through all of this? You have not pressed record. So I'm gonna put a little bit of the uh, shaving cream in here. If it's soap, I use the British 50 pence piece to scoop it, but this is cream, so I just put it on my finger. 
drop it right in there. I'll probably put more than I needed to. Got it all over me. Subtly scented with rosemary, eucalyptus, bergamot, juniper, and pine needle. It does smell really nice. We'll set this aside. Wet my face. Got a little extra on my hands here, so there's. Ah, look! That's the pre shave. <laughs> Good lather. Or just a little leftover on my finger. All right. Let's get the Simpson Chubby. Oh, and by the way, someone was, well, let me get that water out of there. Someone was saying, hey, you don't rinse your razor after each pass enough. And I do keep a bowl, see? I keep a bowl in the sink. And what you're probably not seeing is uh, when I put the razor down, I'm actually uh, rinsing it off. Wow! What did I use the other day? I think Derby. It did not. Wow, this is spilling out of there. Whew. This is going to work great. Look at this. It's like I've uh, created a suds bomb here. Just the suds and the soap is just going everywhere. Sure does smell good. Very nice. It's thickening up. Very good. Going to the movies this weekend? Gonna see The Equalizer 2. It's so cool that my wife and daughter hang out. They go do all the stuff that I really don't want to do. I don't want to go shopping for clothes, and I don't want to go shopping for sofas, and I don't want to go shopping for candles. And They go get their nails done, they hang out. They're like best friends, it's awesome. Cause I'm going out with my brother. Equalizer 2 tonight. Round table pizza. Oh man, it's gonna start of a good weekend. All right, here we go, the Braveheart. Well, it does feel a little different than those uh, razors I have been using. Now, out of camera. You hear that? Back up. Oh, very nice. And I'm telling you, you're not going to drop this razor. When someone asked me, they said, what do you think of Braveheart? Hell, I thought they meant this. Take our lives, but they'll never take <laughs> I didn't know they meant this. A good movie. I didn't like what they did to old William Wallace, though. In fact, when I went to Edinburgh, and they have at Edinburgh Castle, they uh, went in 96, they have a, a kind of a memorial or a yeah, stained glass area memorial. You guys know if you've been. And uh, I remember what they did to him in the movie and I thought, oh man. I guess we were barbaric back in those times. And if you go to the website, uh, Executive Shaving Company website, uh, I did some research. I guess the company was created in 93. So they've been around for, uh, I opened up that cut I got on uh, the other day with the Mula. Uh, they, they've been around since 93. And then uh, Brian took over the company in 2009. And then this razor was introduced in 2014. So I'm definitely late to the party. The soap, 2014. And see, I'm rinsing it. 
and uh, the site was updated, I guess, in 2015. So they've been around for a while. So I love the internet. I get to try things that I never would have heard of in my local stores. Now this is the tricky area for me. If you've seen my videos, you know I always cut myself right here, and I did not cut myself. I just opened up that old cut from the Mula R41. Look at this. I don't know if you can see that, but... The soap's amazing. And it's they're very reasonably priced. Now, the only problem is shipping. Uh, so I don't quite know where you are in the world. If you're in Scotland or in England and in Europe, it's probably a little more reasonable to the United States but than shipping to the United States because, man, the post office gets you on shipping. But they do ship worldwide, it appears. So, very nice. telling you I'm telling you that it, shaving cream thumbs up see I rinsed it off again hear the feedback it's been a couple of days since I shaved with a mula and that really knocks down the uh, hair, that damn mula. This feels super cool. And if you have a favorite razor head, you could always put this handle on that. I like keeping them a match set though. Yeah, no cut on the neck. Thank you, Braveheart. See, I got confident. <laughs> Usually should go a little slower. doesn't warrant a third pass for me. You can go ahead and do them. Two really, really works well on a lot of these razors I've been trying. see my mother today. I went to lunch over to see her in the uh, uh, assisted living home I guess she's living in. She's doing good but man I miss the days when we were all going on vacation together and now she's you know in that damn wheelchair and stuff but I guess we get old. But it's, it's always nice to go talk to her. I'm not going to use any uh, witch hazel. Come on. Having a senior moment. Now, the Truffitt and Hill is a we got a pump here. It smells very good. Oh, very good. There we go. Oh, and it's time for me to thank you very much because uh, as of last night, I hit this. So thank you very much, 6,000. I'm gonna have to do a appreciation giveaway very soon. So bear with me. I get to go uh, to a bunco party, you know, playing with dice. 
a lot of uh, a lot of uh, couples go uh, 20 bucks a head and man you can win a couple of hundred bucks uh, going there tomorrow and Sunday I'm not sure what's going on so if I get a chance I'll try to get that appreciation giveaway out real soon but if you guys get a chance uh, check out this the executive shaving company and there will be a link inside the description of this video if you're in Southern California uh, the 28th of this month out in Riverside they're having the Riverside uh, meetup at uh, the Lake Alice Trading Company I'm gonna go there uh, I think they're gonna have a lot of I, I think is Doug Smythe gonna be there Phoenix artist and accoutrement usually he is I'm not sure be good to see Doug again uh, play some pinball uh, see some cool razors some cool products should be kind of fun and I'll video it for you guys who can't make it so you can kind of see what the event looked like so all right everybody thank you very much for watching you have a great weekend have a great Friday night I'll let you know what I thought of the equalizer you guys might have already seen it already uh, but until next time it's Ken Sir saying have a great night